Hey, what's going on guys? Part-time Fisher here. Hope everybody had a great New Year's. I know I did. And well, it's my favorite time of the month. It's Monster Bass Day. And well, as you can see, both my boxes showed up, so we'll dive into them today. I do subscribe to the Midwest Great Lakes, as well as the Pacific Northwest, since I'm kind of right in between the middle of them there. I'm here in Nebraska, as you guys know, or for any of the new subscribers. Um, if you guys didn't get a Monster Bass box for Christmas, you know, hopefully this will show you why you should get one. This month's kind of a fun one again. With it being January, being cold, um, they decided to actually go ahead and do a Strike King and BioBait takeover. So I'm excited to dive into these and see what we got from those two companies. Um, I've used Strike Kings before, BioBaits I haven't used. I heard they're great soft plastics. And well, this will be the last month you see these boxes. Next month we are supposed to start getting the bags. I'm excited about that. I'll be able to use those on the boat. Uh, you know, keep all the boat stuff in there, but also keep random tackle in there when I'm just going pond hopping and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and dive on in. And I'll be honest, I cannot remember <laughs> which region is what again. Um, that's my bad. I'll have to try to mark them next time so I can remember. But diving in, we'll go into this one first here. And let's see what we got here towards the bottom. So, favorite thing, always get a cool sticker from them. This time they're doing hashtag freedom toss. Love that. I'll have to try one this spring. You always get the book telling you what's going on with the box this month. Like I said, it's a Strike King bio bait takeover. Uh, looking into it, they kind of showcase some of the baits that you're going to be getting in your box. Obviously, colors are going to vary, or at least we'll find out if they vary how much. Um, and then they kind of give you, look us on the back, a next month sneak, sneak peek looks like if you haven't subscribed you really really should and get yourself boxes next month every uh regional pro series box is guaranteed to receive a limited edition alex rudd silent square bill um and it's going to be custom painted from messer baits so definitely want to get next month's box that bait will be great to have but let's continue diving in here so first bait we got is actually from strike king this is a swinging sugar buzz and this is in a standard little chartreuse white color. And the crazy thing about this buzz bait is it does have like a little swing head to it. So that'll be kind of fun to try. I've just kind of gotten into these style of baits. Um, so it'll be kind of fun to see what happen when it warms up. Um, any of you that live in the Midwest, you know we've had some really crazy weather. It's gone from snowy to I think 50 degrees today and then back to cold. So I needed to wait to warm up a bit, but I can't wait to try that. Ooh, here we go. Something I always love using. We got a J. Lee comeback jig. Um, kind of a heavier jig. It's a half ounce. It's got a little flat bottom, so I think it's going to get those things to stand up. Kind of a little brown craw color there. So that'll be good to use as well. Ooh, something I've always wanted to try. I've had a lot of guys tell me it's a great product. This is the Red Eye Shad by Strike King, and this is actually in a nice shad color. So that'll be fun to try. Um, Good rat, little rattle to it, little teeny, nothing huge thud, but I kind of like that. And it looks like the last Strike King bait is actually the KVD flat side. Uh, I've used a couple of these. This is a one to five foot, uh, dives to eight foot. And this is in a nice color. It's kind of like a darker bluegill color with a nice red belly. So that'll be a fun one to throw. I'm excited about that. And then there's don't worry there's still more gates here guys so for these soft plastics they hooked us up with some diachi bleeding bait hooks i uh, always like diachi they're always decent hooks never wrong with that and so what we got for those and these are the bio baits guys and well it's a little cold in my garage so you can kind of see some of that all that fish oil is kind of all in there so that's that'll be Oh, I'm going to open this up for you guys. And I, if there was smell of vision you could enjoy it with me. Maybe it's probably good there's not smell of vision because something tells me these are going to be funky. And I never can tear these things right the first time. Woo! Yes, those are loaded with scent. But I'm going to pull one of these out. This is a kind of like a little, like, kind of swim bait, jerk fluke style. Sorry, a little cold plastic here, but and this isn't a nice whew, green pumpkin little red flake. 
It's got that Y split in the tail. Um, this will be fun to throw. This is a nice, perfect size. And something I'm realizing is that it's a very, the texture on these soft plastics through BioBait are definitely, oh, other than the sink, they're definitely, it's a softer, almost like gummy style plastic. I kind of like that feel. Um, weight seems decent. Um, so I might be able to throw this, you know, on a jig head, you can throw it on a uh, weightless setup, depending on what you're, what you're looking to do. Um, go weedless with it. So that'll be fun. That's a good color. Uh, I love these style baits. I love using them. Uh, full pack, another bonus about getting monster bass. They never cheap you out. And then if you guys haven't seen the new video on the monster bass channel, these are the leeches. I, and I'm not gonna open this one up, but I recommend going checking out the, the video they did on the monster bass channel. Uh, they showed you a few different ways to do these leeches. Um, learned a couple of things myself on how to maybe rig this. So can't wait to give these a shot. And then, ah, looks like we got a green pumpkin stick bait. You never can go wrong with the stick bait. Um, also infused with those fish oils. So that was in one of my region boxes. You know, a whole bunch of great baits. Um, I love when these do these takeovers because, you know, it's a company that, you know, I've, I've used and heard of before but maybe haven't tried a lot of their products. And then a company that, you know, I've seen around, but I haven't even gotten into. So it's a good way to try them out and they're trusted brands. So it's not like I'm getting a brand that, you know, it's like, Ooh, who's this, you know, but this, this region box, I'm a fan of, let's see what's in the other region box, see how different it is, see what might be similar. Um, you know, typically when they're not doing takeover boxes uh my different regions do have different baits they really try to tailor it in for where you're fishing so once again still get the freedom toss sticker can't go wrong with having two of those you get the same book telling you about the different baits telling you about bio spawn telling you about the uh or sorry bio bait telling you about the uh strike king lures as well and then oh and then maybe I'll have to dig in that other box a little better, but a little bonus sticker there. We got a nice big Strike King sticker. And the first thing I noticed, so still get the same Daiichi hooks. Not, but nothing wrong with that. I think everybody got those same ones. Looks like we got the same green pumpkin stick bait. Once again, like I said, my region is so close. I, I don't expect there to be different. I don't know if they even sent different colors. The leeches and then the fluke style bait. So that'll stay the same diving in here though okay so looks like we got some of the same baits you know so it looks like i got another sugar buzz and i'm gonna open the other box back up here just to show you guys that even they even do try to keep the colors for where you live so in one region like i said we had the chartreuse with a little bit of the white and then in this region's box we've got a little bit of the it's got a little foil a little sparkly foil and then white to it on my sugar daddy and then Ah, we've got, so I didn't get a jig, but we got a 10 to 12 foot diver. Uh, this is their 3XD, and this is in a nice another kind of bluegill pattern. It's got a little orange spot at the bottom. So, like I said, we're actually getting some different baits kind of tailored more towards the different regions. And like I said, I apologize, I'll have to mark them next time. Uh, I couldn't tell you which one was which. Um, I'll try to look it up and I'll leave a comment down below for you guys or put it in the uh, description there for you. And then we actually have another, it's the flat side, but instead of that uh, bluegill pattern, more of a shad kind of color. Once again, another color I wouldn't mind throwing. That's, that's a nice looking bait there. And then the last thing we got, and this, I think everybody got one of these, so I'm not surprised here, but we got another red eye shad. So good thing about that is if I lose one, which I'm bound to do, uh, I've got me a spare. So like I said, I huge fan of monster bass love that they use the little takeover boxes and then like i said when they don't do takeover boxes their boxes are very region specific you get full packs of everything you're getting brands that you trust and know um and every once in a while they'll sprinkle in some some brands that are you know local here in the united states mom and pop they're trying to get off the ground which i think is awesome so by all means please hit the link in the description Go get yourself a, at least one box. Try them out. Like I said, next month will be great. Or if you want this Strike King box, get, your head, get yourself one of these as well before they run out. Uh, you can use the code SAVE10 and get $10 off your first box. So until next time, guys, hopefully you guys can catch some stuff. And we'll see what we can get next. Have a good one.